At least five people are dead tonight in London and dozens more hurt after a terrorist ran over people with his car and then went on a stabbing spree. Katie Hopkins is a global columnist at DailyMail.com. She is widely despised vehemently by fashionable British liberals for saying that the country's multicultural policies are making attacks like today's inevitable. Katie Hopkins joins us tonight live. Um, Katie, thanks, thanks for joining us. Is it, is it too much to say that you are reviled by fashionable British liberals? And if so, why exactly are they so mad at you? Mm, the liberals are cross at me. You know, they are London. London is a liberal city. And we've seen a lot of this tonight after the attacks, after everything that's gone on here today. You know, coming from the rest of the UK, this foreign country uh, compared to London, people are sad. People feel, I feel smaller as a result of the attacks today. I feel that we've been taken from. You know, we're a country that spends so much time tiptoeing around the cultures that choose to join us and not enough time defending the culture they've chosen to join. But because I say those things, I am widely hated for those views. And what I'm tired of hearing on the media everywhere at the moment here is we will not be cowed by terror. We stand united because the big news is that's the message in London. That is not the message here in the UK. Right. People are cowed by of one course. particular religion, which is promoted by the Muslim mayor, Sadiq Khan, son of the bus driver. You know, that's his only credential. People are cowed. People are afraid. And people are not united. Great Britain is more disunited. It is absolutely divided more than any time in its past. And we are, in fact, a nation of ghettos. I think liberals here actually think multiculturalism means we all die together. And that's not a view I support. So, and you, but you have attacked the idea of multiculturalism itself, as distinct from a multiracial society, but you've attacked the idea of a multicultural society as inherent, inherently unworkable. Am I mischaracterizing that? No, not at all. I was writing about it today at DailyMail.com. I really believe that all we are is a nation of ghettos. I can go to the west of London and I'll find the Afghanis. I'll go to the east of London, I'll find the Eritreans. They don't speak to the Somalis who don't speak to the Syrians. All that conflict, all that war, all that tension, that didn't get left behind. They just brought it here. They are enclaves of individuals here in the city. And if we imagine we're united, that we stand strong, that's a lie. All of these hashtags, you know, lights, visuals, candles, making hearts one year on from Brussels, that means nothing. Put that stuff away. Don't turn the lights off on the Eiffel Tower. That isn't a solution. We need a solution. We need to protect this country. And for the views of many outside of this liberal city, we are losing the country we loved. What was the point of this exercise that got us to this place? Was it to make, as I suspect, a small number of rich people feel virtuous and good about themselves? Was there some other reason to create a society like this? It seems to be this idea that it's a good idea to be multicultural, that that's the accepted right answer. You know, these days, opinions are no longer kind of uh, you know, you can't just have an opinion. Opinions are either right or wrong, whereas I would say there aren't any right or wrong opinions. You know, life is not an exam and no one made you the invigilator, but somehow multiculturalism is the right answer. And we're already seeing tonight people talking about an attack that happened on Joe Cox by the far right, like there's some kind of game of snap or, you know, one-upmanship. And then we hear people saying, you know, we're worried about making sure we offer support to the Muslim communities. I'm sorry, that is not what the rest of the UK is thinking. The rest of the UK wants someone that is going to stand up for patriotic Brits. And somehow, yeah. Brexiteers like myself end up getting the blame for this sort of thing when we're the ones who want to defend the country we used to be proud of. Well, I suspect your leadership hates the rest of the country, and we recognize that very, very clearly here. Katie, thanks a lot for joining us. Of course.